And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going in another Aerobasque aircraft and this is the Lisa Aeroplanes Akoya. So this is a very different sort of aeroplane and we're going to go from somewhere different as well. Somewhere I went quite a number of years ago up to Hamilton Island in, uh, well, up in the Whit Sundays in northern Queensland in Australia. Really beautiful place. This sort of gives it a, a fairly reasonable uh, representation of uh, what the place looks like. I'm sure a little bit of um, overlay editing and a bit of uh, ortho would make it just a little bit better. But it's pretty nice. So I thought we'd just take this aeroplane for a bit of a run. It is different with the... Um, engine right at the very back there and it is a bit of a bug I've got to be say to taxi it around it uh, does not like going straight as I've found um, I think when I first started to take this out taxi this out I ended up over the water so yeah it's it's a bit of a handful on the ground and it's maybe because the engine is so far back there that's possible um, its performance is pretty good though and it's uh, its strength now I like to look at how many G's the thing is sustain or can sustain and this will do uh, plus four and minus two so it's uh, you know, it's pretty strong it's pretty average uh, the control panel with all the uh, glass cockpit is pretty nice and it does a couple of other interesting things as well it actually folds the wings um, which is something that's a little bit unusual but it flies really well. So just doing a few aileron rolls and loops and just sussing it out. It is really smooth. Just put the nose up a little bit above the horizon and then roll it around and uh, you get a bit of a barrel roll there. And it's smooth and it's very crisp. Um, and and if, with the 4K textures and everything else, it has quite a lot to offer. So it really, what is it? It's a two-seat amphibious Die plane with a go uh, with 4K textures as I say. It's LSA as well, so um, it's something um, I would be able to fly. I've got my license back. I need to do that. It's been a while, but yeah, we've got uh, 4K textures, um, PBO textures for the fuselage as well. Uh, the flight model has been refined according to spe specifications of a real uh, Akoya, so they've done their very best. And just giving it a little, another bash, I like to see how these things stall and how nasty they are. You, if you've seen the, um, the Aerolite 103 video, you'll notice that that one was pretty frightening. Um, and I'm, I hope very much it's not like that in real life. I'm sure it's not. But this one was pretty good. Uh, nice and stable. Didn't really drop a wing, didn't do anything. Just wallowed, which is um, exactly what you would want in... Uh, probably most aircraft, but an LSA, unless you, you wanted an elevator aeroplane, of course. So, really nice, and the scenery around this area is pretty good as well. It is quite hilly, lots of islands around to go flying, uh, very green, which is a bit of a change from where I am down here in Adelaide. Uh, Adelaide at the moment is just starting to rain as I do this, and uh, hopefully we'll have some green around as well, just for a bit of a change. It nice yeah it, it, it's pretty smooth it trims out pretty well um, it's quite happy to sitting at a uh, at, at a speed you just trim it out and it'll stay there now you'll notice the big button in the middle there that's water and sea you need to change it over depending on whether you're doing uh, air uh, landing in the water or whether you're going to land on runway so nice and smooth on the on the loop just get plenty of speed up but just about wants to hang at the top so you don't want to be uh, pulling too hard back in the stick or it'll just mush over I think on the top there but it, it's pretty good it feels nice to fly just try it in a bit of a steep turn see how that goes pretty pretty good doesn't drop the nose too much probably needs just a little bit of rudder you can see as it goes zipping past there now, the one thing I did find and I'll show you uh, in a little bit um, the water modelling, or the model of the aircraft in the water isn't quite right, unless I'm not doing something. Because um, it doesn't have any wing floats. It's supposed to just sit there in the water, so... Um, and it's got some long strakes underneath the... about with the fuselages as well. It looks like a bit of a shark. Um, but we're coming in here, we're going to put the wheels down and see how well we can get it to land. And again, this is all about the low-speed handling. 
just a little bit fast and I'm just doing a bit of a side slip just to lose a bit of altitude because I'm a little high and if you're not sure how to do side slips really is a lot of fun especially in a real world aircraft it's a lot of fun I've got to tell you uh, but you do have to be a bit careful uh, with I think adverse yaw is the biggest issue it can swing back the other way and then you'll just lose control of it but done properly um, it's opposite rudder to the elevator and the aircraft will just crab sideways but it tends not to lose speed but it loses altitude quickly if you happen to be a little bit high so um, it's it's very commonly done gliders do it um, tow planes tend to do it a lot on gliders as well see so I lost a little bit here just trying to trying to get control of it so it swung around I really I wonder whether the real aircraft would be like that but with all that weight at the back and the thrust there I could see that happening so it's something you'd have to be a little bit careful of and you'd have to be good on the rudders I would imagine uh, landing this for real. The one thing I was a bit disappointed and if you guys know how to do it um, please tell me um, I, was, I couldn't find any way of removing the cover off the pedo probe at the front there. Um, there wasn't any menus and stuff so um, and look how the wings fold back you can just select that that's on the left panel within the, the cockpit so yeah you can just uh, tuck it up and wheel it back into a, a fairly large trailer I'd imagine it'd have to be but you're certainly going to save some hangar space if you're sharing hangar space with someone so that's uh, it's a pretty unique feature because I haven't seen that on uh, on anything else that will do it actually uh, as you're uh, in the aircraft you know some you can unpin and fold wings away and stuff but this one will do it for you that saves a lot of work so the scenery is pretty good here at Hamilton Island. Um, when I landed here, it was was fairly busy. A couple of hours, uh, I think it was, from uh, Brisbane. So it's a fair way. And uh, and then we went from here and over to the resort area. So it's a lovely place to come and visit. So we've got this all teed up and parked. So let's go and have a look and see what it's like on the water. This looks really, really dubious. You can see how the wing drops. Looks like I'm just about going to um, roll over on, on my back in this thing in a moment. And the water's fairly shallow. There is a guide within the air, within the manual for you. It only likes about like 0.3 of a meter of water or something. So yeah, just about go over there, which is a bit bizarre. But um, once you get the power on and start moving along a little bit it calms down and it's and it's quite quite easy to control now we've got a bit of power and we're moving forward those strikes underneath the fuselage there are uh, keeping us fairly straight and there will be a rudder down there as well to uh, to steer us in the water i'm sure a bit different from a float plane float planes uh yeah are different to handle again this has got a totally different feel so if you enjoyed that uh, it's a great little plane download it from the from the org enjoy it subscribe if you like the video and i will catch you back here at let's fly vfr again real soon see you soon bye bye